quickly return that now we have to omit any empty parenthesis pairs that does not affect the one-to-one -one mapping relationship between the string and the original binary tree now what is this thing saying to us is the main thing which you have to figure out which means that if you will go and say okay one i have to go in in i have to go in pre-order traversal the pre-order traversal says i go to root then i go to left and then i go to right that is what my pre-order traversal says now if i just go and ask you for this thing what is the pre-order traversal you will say bro i'll go to one then i have to go to left okay now i'll go to two but i have to complete my left and then i can go to right right so when i am at one i complete my left left is two okay but two I complete that specific entire left portion and then I can only come to right. So three will come later on. So for sure after two, four will come. So yeah, that is how your pre-order traversal would look like. But now if I go and ask you, okay, bro, uh, if you had a tree like, like this, one, two, four and a three, right? In this, if I ask you, what is the pre-order traversal? You will have, you will have, have said just one two four and three now considering i am not considering the null 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 values i'm not considering that so it would have looked something like this right do you think uh, both will end up giving the same parentheses but i want something unique that i can build my tree back from that i should be getting one such parentheses made although he has not applied parentheses but let's say what you will do okay you have a one then you will apply parentheses left parentheses okay you will get two then you might apply parentheses you will get a four and then you'll apply parentheses you will get a three and same you will end up giving here one uh two and then parentheses okay sorry parentheses four and then three do you think that uh, both are kind of giving the same values which is not good for us so something we are missing and you'll also see the answer is something which we should take care of now what it it is trying to say to us what we have to what we have to take care of so you saw here it was a null right here it was a null so when although in my left i have the string like this now just to bifurcate that these two should look different what i have to do is i have to consider this fact that okay in the left i had a null and then in the right i was having the exact value so for that null i'll do one thing i'll say bro okay no worries two was your root child two was your root left was nothing right was a four and that's how you can distinguish between this particular tree which gives this value and this particular tree which will give us this value so it is saying the same thing that you have to omit any empty parenthesis pairs that does not affect although you can keep on applying okay bro why not you applied empty empty parenthesis here itself yeah i can apply but even if i apply here or i apply here that would not affect my answer that's that's not affecting so remove all those which are not affecting your answer and keep the ones which will affect your answer so now you know one fact that which ones to keep so so our ultimate aim was to understand what this line was saying now to understand what this line was saying we just made an example out and we ultimately had to omit empty parenthesis now we end up omitting every empty parenthesis that is not good so what we will end up doing is we will end up omitting all the empty parenthesis which are having both the child as null but and also for sure you will see that here if i have if i add an empty parenthesis after this particular four that will also not affect my answer so i'll also remove this which means ultimately i will only keep my empty parenthesis when i have a root child left is null right is not null left is null right is not null only then only then i'll keep my empty parenthesis just to make sure bro the child which you are having right now is a right child and not a left child because left child if it would have been there it would have been the just next to root just next to root will be the left child just next to root will be the left child and ultimately after that i'll have the right child so that is how you have to just make sure that which empty parenthesis i have to actually actually keep so this is what this line was saying now okay going back uh, although we have roughly solved the entire problem itself now let's quickly yeah the same example as we saw above we will have a one then we have a two then on the right we have a four and then we have a three so just to distinguish we will have a one 
and then we'll go on to my left child which is two now two's left is empty so keep a bracket for them and for four which are uh, which is a right child keep a bracket and then a four and then a three so you will see that you will get something like this ultimately it's the same thing just do a pre-order reversal in the tree itself just make sure one thing that if if you will do a pre-order pre -order traversal as simple as that you will have a solve function where you will have a root and you will have a string again make sure you are not copying the string again and again because although it's a one e4 as operations but still make sure that you are not copying the string again and again which means just make a string keep on adding elements or adding brackets or adding numbers in that string of your answer that is one thing which i will show you while do, while modifying the code itself and also while you are solving initially uh, first the base condition always we check that if our node value if it is null which is null ptr simply return that is the base condition which we always check now as i said as soon as you encounter a node just okay simply i'll just simply append again bhaiya bhaiya why not you have an answer as string now what i'll do is i'll make a string as answer string as answer and then i can append that string in my answer that is one thing i can do which means i can just do a simple concatenation operation but if you remember the concatenation operation is quite heavy operation it it do something like this answer is equals to answer plus that string value that value which you want to append let's say i wanted to append a b c so it will have an answer it will append this a b c and then assign that to answer again so this if this keeps on building building larger larger although in this question you will not see much significant change because the operation itself will be 1 e 4 and the string would not be built as large as 1 e 4 again and again so but 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 if it is not a good operation to do rather although still if you apply this operation still it will pass and i'll show you that also also in the code but instead you should do string dot append your a b c or if you have a just one character, you can do a string dot pushback, which is answer dot pushback a as a character. If you have just one character, or if you have a, a bracket opening close bracket, you, you can just do a opening close bracket pushback. So that is how you should solve it. Ultimately, as I showed you again, also uh, you can apply any of these operations. Let's say right now you applied a plus operation, although it's not good, it's, it's not a good practice to apply plus plus operation, just do append instead. Let's say if you still did a plus operation, you will do firstly you have added that specific node value, you will add that node value, but then node value is done. Now comes the main part go on left, go on left, and then go on right. And the remaining, and when you say go on left, as soon as you go on left, firstly, make sure left is there, left is there, only then you should go on left. Okay, left is there, which means if I have a root like two, three, four, so left is there, only then I go to left. Ah, uh, but yeah, but like you, you went on to left when your left child, when your right child was also there. So even if left is not there, but if the right child is there, still you will go to left. So if you have a left child, you will make like this but if you don't have a left but you have a right then you will make a empty but still you will go on to left considering you will have a right we'll see that also in the code and if you if you go on right for sure you must be having a right only then you go on to right so yeah i should be having a right only then i'll go on to my right that is how your entire recursion would work and for sure in these cases we use simple recursion let's quickly go and see again i'll deeply explain you in the code itself that what we are doing Firstly, uh, we want our answer string to be in the end, right? Uh, in these cases of uh, problems, what we do is we just bifurcate the main problem out and apply the recursion. It's simple that I, I just have to make sure I apply operation on my root and then I just call on my left and right childs. Now in this question, uh, calling left and right childs, just make sure to apply opening and closing brackets for that left child and for the right child respectively. So I'll just apply one operation left child, right child on the left and the sorry opening and, opening and uh, closing bracket on the left and the right child and it's the only operation which i will apply on my child's so i'll just do okay bro uh, call the solve function on my root with this answer and simply i i will have my answer as an address so for sure my answer will be which means i'll pass my answer as, as an address so my answer will have the correct value so now i'll actually start off with my main answer that i'll just do okay it's a node and string pass with address and 
now pass with address is the main thing because you are not copying the string again and again because applying some operation on a string and copying that string again and again is a big operation so that we have to avoid at any cost now as we saw that always as we are traversing on a tree it's just now a tree traversal as simple as that it's, it's a tree traversal as soon as we are on a tree we'll just check okay if root is equals to null ptr oh uh, if the root is null ptr simple if something is null simply return that let's say if i would have not like null so simply return like i i, I don't have to add brackets or anything but bhaiya you said na ki if it is null and if it's a left child if it's a left child it's null but i have a right child so i have to add something which is the brackets why not why not oh i am i'm think if i have a root node i have a left child left child is null here i am just directly just imagine this directly you are at the root node first if that itself is null simply return now i i know okay, i have something as my root node which i should actually append in my answer again uh, you can just do also plus which means you can also do a um, answer plus is equals to convert that particular node value to because node value is an integer value as you can see it's an integer value but you are applying on a string so convert that to a string uh, so i'll just convert that to a string value it is one operation which is answer plus equal to or you can write the same stuff as answer plus is equals to or append this same value in the string now the below operation is a o of basically o of node value which means now this below operation is node o of node value the above operation is o of answer plus node value which is the length of node value so this is a much more efficient way although you will see that there would not be much time difference if you will run by this it will be 12 milliseconds it, it will be 6 milliseconds by this but the above one is a costlier operation so please don't apply that now now considering that you were at the root you were at the root now you have got the root, root value now you have to go on to left child so i'll just check okay if my uh, node left is not is not equals to null ptr then i should go on to my left right no i should also go on to my left i should also go on to my left which means now when i say i'm going to going on to my left i am saying that i am just i am saying that i am just applying my brackets which is the opening bracket and then simply uh, calling my solve function for that my left child uh, solve solve function for my left child which is node left and passing my answer and answer is always address so it will always contain the value and again when this left child is done simply making that as a close bracket so this is what i should do if i have a left child as simple as that but no do this also when you have a right child because you need to have empty brackets for sure but by yeah, empty brackets will come value will also come right no value value will not come how i'll show you but i'll also perform the same operation if i have no right which means if my right is not equals to null ptr so if if i have like if i have a left okay go into it if i have a right and if i if i don't have a left still go into it now if i have a right but no left then it will go on to this and push back a opening bracket when it will try to go on to the left itself this left will go on to my base condition and will return itself it will not add anything that is how you will by having only right and no left you will only be adding an opening and a closing bracket that's it now ultimately okay you just you just did the left part i just do the same thing for the right part which is node right um right is not equals to null ptr and with this simply just same same exact same stuff uh, just you can just copy this above part and paste down below just here uh, have a note of right and simply with this you will see that it will go on in the entire tree and build your answer let's quickly run and check if we have not done any mistakes here yeah, we have not done and submit so that's how you can simply get it solved and you will see that uh, like that is absurd because i solved the same question in the six milliseconds the time uh, is just that sometimes uh, more or less clear code gives you a absurd time complexity like current time but yeah that's again a point was that you have to pass by address so as to not replicate the strings again and again you should not apply the plus operation which is the simple concatenation operation which is although strings in c++ are mutable so you can just do it and it should be much more efficient than immutable plus op operations 
but still it is not that efficient to have more efficient please use append instead and also you can just use a pushback for one character yeah thanks for watching bye bye